Yo, what is up, guys? So for today, I'm bringing you another build video for the Titans, obviously, because uh, they, they they really need help right now because One-Eyed Mask is getting nerfed, and you already know they're like chickens without their heads. They're just... They, they don't know what to do. It's fine. Papa Tony's going to help you out because at the end of the day... I actually do like Titans, the way they play. Uh, I think some of their abilities are a bit dumb, but I think that as well for Warlocks. And I guess for Hunters, if you want to go that far. But let's go with the build that I am going for, which I know is going to piss people off and people are going to be like, it's not viable, Tony. So Listen, chill, calm down, get, some, get, get, a, get a cup of tea, chill, eat some crumpets. I don't fucking know. Just calm down, watch the fucking video and then critique me, okay? Because I still think it's very viable. It's just not how it used to be. So. It's basically going to be Middle Tree Sentinel with Ursa Furiosas. Now I know, I know, I know, I know. No, it's not viable. To it's, just shut the fuck up. Let me explain, okay? So. For the new Titans. Don't know what, what I'm talking about. Back in the day, Ursa Furiosas used to give you 90 to 80% of your super back. Because if you guys don't know what Ursa Furiosas are, they're uh, gauntlets for the Titans. Then Middle Tree, when you block and you get incoming damage, you essentially get your super back from that. But only only a percentage. Now, you're lucky to get like 30 to 40% if you're lucky. Now, the reason I say this is very, very much it's still very like viable is because it's not about getting your super back. It's about the whole mentality behind it so let let's first look at the perks before we start doing this for the new titans and whatnot so we got controlled demolition which hit a target with a void ability to attach a void detonator further hits cause the deton detonator to explode dealing damage to surrounding enemies targets whatever banner shield guard with sentinel shield to create a defensive wall allies who shoot through the wall have increased weapon damage and guarding allies makes the shield last longer Tactical Strike, which strike an enemy with the smiley to cause an avoid explosion. And Resupply, which you and your nearby allies regain health as well as grenade and melee energy when your void detonators explode. So, why I think this is very much still viable is because Urza Furio says, let's look at that real quick. I love this skin. This is why I still use it. I love this skin. It's fucking awesome. But, Ursin go... Ur Ursin guard whatever move faster while guarding when sentinel shield is active and guarded damage converts to super energy when these super ends so this is basically shards of galanor for hunters but this one you actually have to guard damage with shards you have to do damage but i feel like shards is a little bit worse than the titans not by much mind you but still eh, whatever the really cool thing about ursa furiosa is, is that the, and the whole reason why I'm saying it's still viable is because when you put these on and let's say someone finds out, oh shit, he's using Ursa Furiosas, it starts to really fuck with people's heads because ultimately you could A, not shoot, but I'm still going to go to you and I'm going to kill you or B, I can try to kill him and you're, I'm going to potentially give him super energy. So with that whole, like that, just that that part of it is good enough but when you also add into like let's say oh i'm gonna protect my my team when we're capping a certain point that's when it gets really good because like like we just saw if you're guarding your allies your super is longer which means you have a longer time to get more super energy so from what i've experienced I could get probably around 30 to 40 maybe 50 percent if like someone just doesn't know what the fuck they're doing but essentially think about it like this if you use this in comp and they shoot you you already have a leg up on them because you already are closer to your super than they are now i will i i know well tony like 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 we keep saying it's still it's still to one like it's not reliable it's it's not viable and i i get that i really do but ultimately when you can really just fuck your with your enemies minds to the point where they don't know to either shoot you or not that alone Causes them to stutter because now they, they're aware that you have Ursa Furiosas and every time a super pops up, immediately get scared more than usual because now it's like, fuck, is it Ursa Furiosa? Do I have to be careful? Especially if you have more than one of your friends running just that super alone or if they have Ursa Furiosas, even worse. So for me, this is still viable. It'll get your super if they shoot at you. If not, it's fine. If you really want your super back that badly, 
I mean, you could use, I guess, bad juju. Bad juju still... The perk on that does, didn't even get changed too, so you could essentially still use bad juju if you want. And with the catalyst, it'll... You'll have your... You'll have string of curses longer. My only thing is that... For me... This build obviously doesn't really revolve around weapons, so you can use really pretty much anything you want. So you could use a bad juju if you want. But me personally, I would be using like spare rations, retold tail, probably the huckleberry, like something to get in their face because essentially that's what you're going to be doing when you use Ursafuriosis. You're going to try to pe get in people's faces. So ultimately, ultimately, I like this build a lot and I didn't even get to the point where like you could do oppressive darkness with this. That, like oh you can one shot with a sticky or if you want to be really gross you can use suppressor grenades so, so you can suppress supers while you're on your like bro you, you could do so many things with this build that it really boggles my mind that people are still sleeping on this now i feel like once the meta slows down this is going to be very viable because people are going to be slowing down more they're going to be thinking about what to do more instead of just going out there and aping it so this is going to be very viable don't sleep on it. If you guys have an Ursa Furiosa, start practicing with it because I guarantee you the 30 to 40% super energy that you get from this is still going to be better than nothing, especially when you can run faster with this as well, block energy or block damage, and it the super is longer when you're blocking for enemy, for your friends. So for me, this is a no-brainer. I use this a lot. I actually love Ursa Furiosa since, it, since its inception. I thought that was a really cool design. I thought it was really cool. I think I think you should get more super from hits, but I mean, that's just me. I do feel like this, this exotic is a little bit underpowered, but ultimately, if you guys want to fuck with your enemies' heads, if you want to be really gross and do oppressive darkness with sticky grenades, you could do that. Or if you want to shut down supers, suppressor grenade as well. So... This one does a lot of things for you. You could use a lot of weapons with this. Ultimately, go ham. I love this build. This is one of the builds I've been using for a while. So let me know what you guys think about this build. Oh, I didn't even come up with a name, huh? Uh, Ursin, Ursin Shield. Ursin Shield. I like that. Ursine, Ursin, uh, whatever you have, however you say it. So Ursine Shield, Ursin Shield. That's the that's the, the build I'm calling this. This shit's... That shit's pretty fire, actually. So let me know what you guys think about this build. Am I wrong? Is it actually super garbage? And I don't know what I'm talking about. Let me know in the comments below. If you guys want to catch me on my social media outlets, links are in the description below. And I would like to say thank you all for the continued support, for likes, subscriptions, everything. It's really cool. It just boggles my mind that people just like my shit or don't. It doesn't matter. Other than that, uh, I will see you guys later.